Okay, so, ooh, what was that? Oh. <laughs> Anyways, back with another video. So quickly, um, just another thing on my, that I'm incorporating and starting to do differently on my regimen or that I've tweaked. I am currently embarking on a growth journey. I'm actually attempting to grow um, my hair to a certain length. Um, right now, I've pretty much given myself the goal of armpit length. Let's just see where that goes because I've never grown my loose hair past my collarbone. Well, I have a little bit, but I had to cut it all off because it was weak and damaged and not looking cute. So yeah, I haven't grown, so yeah, armpit length is gonna be my goal and I'm curious, let's see. So I've been trying to incorporate, you know, healthy practices and a regular regimen in order to help on this growth journey or embark on this growth journey. One of the things in my last video I just talked about that I'm not doing anymore that I used to do is I used to cover my head at night and sleep with a shower cap and I thought this, I used to think this was really great for providing moisture to my hair whereas now I'm looking back and thinking that was probably one of the reasons my hair was so weak and um, frail and limp was because I was over moisturizing it and um, keeping my hair wet and yeah for prolonged periods of time I'm just no so there's that the other thing I'm now doing is um, changing how I apply henna to my hair I love henna I have been using henna for years and I only have had positive experiences with it. When I stop using it for a short period of time, I notice the change in the quality of my hair. What I've noticed when I regularly use henna is um, shedding is minimized, like minimized, minimized, minimized. Um, my hair feels stronger and my hair also feels thicker, which I love. I love full thick hair. So yeah, and um, I also love using Ayurveda, different Ayurveda herbs and trying them. Now, since I don't wanna leave stuff on my hair for super long, a super long, prolonged time, um, usually I would leave my henna in overnight or for like six to eight hours. So I'm trying to minimize doing that. And I am taking a cue from Curly Proverbs and um, she's a YouTuber, British YouTuber, um, popular, and um, if you haven't heard from of her already, but I'm sure uh, you have, and uh, using her henna hair tea. And so what she's done, I'll leave the link to the video down below. It's super simple. Even if you're not a DIYer, this is really, really, really simple. You basically brew henna, and you can add any other herbs that you like that you feel are beneficial to your hair. Let that steep for overnight and then strain it and, and use it as a spray. This is mine right now. I have it in an old mineralized charged water bottle that I've recycled, but this is um, my henna hair tea. And what I used, the predominant ingredient is henna, of course, and um, so this is the henna I used, and in my mix, as she says, you can cater it to whatever you, you want. She tends to use Alma and Shikakai, which I have. I added Alma and Shikakai, but of course I needed to add a little more. So I also added Brahmi, which I love, 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 and Tulsi, um, which I also really like. Tulsi is also great on the face too. So these are the powders I added in my henna tea mixture. I put one tablespoon of um, henna and then half a tablespoon of the other ones. I think I was supposed to put like half a teaspoon, but, or a teaspoon, but oh well. Um, so I've just tried this. This is, um, I washed my hair and deep conditioned it yesterday because I went swimming. So to get all the chlorine out and re-moisturize my hair. And then I um, was sweaty today, so I just washed, water rinsed my hair and sprayed this afterwards. So I've used this two days in a row just because I wet my hair two days in a row. And I'm gonna try doing this and seeing if I can do this instead of having to do the whole full henna treatment that I normally would do 
once a month. I've just started using it, only used it twice, so um, we'll see how it goes. Um, she absolutely loves it, and um, if you watch the progress of her hair and just how informative she is, made me willing to try it. There's also another lady um, with fine hair who has also tried it. Those were the only two videos I saw. So I'll come back in and give an update. I would say maybe after two months, I should be able to see um, any kind of start seeing any results or whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, how I plan to use it is pretty much like she does. Um, I'll spray it every other day, so I'm not gonna use it tomorrow since I sprayed it today. Sprayed it, I'll spray it on my hair every other day. And what's very important, because this is a strengthener and henna acts like a protein treatment, is um, when you use it, you should follow it up with a moisturizer. So, or something that moisturizes your hair. Don't just spray this and be like, okay, I'm done. And a batch like this, um, she suggests keeping it for three weeks before it tends to go rancid or, you know, gross. Um, I'm keeping mine in the fridge. I did put in tea tree oil as well and um, a little bit of food as a preservative and vitamin E, but I'm, yeah, after three weeks, I'm just going to chuck it and start over again because it's so easy to make anyways. And I'll probably use all of this up if I'm used spraying my hair with it every other day. So yeah, that's something new I'm incorporating and just wanted to share and crossing fingers that it works because it would save so much time. And if um, this gives me the results that I was normally be getting from my henna um, treatments. And if not, I still will go back to the henna treatments because I love me some henna, but this just seems like so much easier and Let's see what happens, okay? Bye. <laughs>